everyone thank you for watching today's video is going to be three back to school makeup looks so these are going to be three different looks that are quick that are easy to do and also using all affordable makeup products in here so these can be uh, makeup ideas for either back to school or I get requested a lot for like neutral like work day makeup looks and still something that's quick and easy when you want to get out the door to work so it can either be back to school or a work video but like I said all of these looks are really easy to do really quick to do and using all affordable makeup products I have three different looks to share with you today so why don't we go ahead and get started alrighty so I'm going to jump into a look number one here and my looks are going to kind of progressively um, you know go from like the most simple look and then to the most maybe like time consuming all of these are still going to be pretty simple looks though. Um, so first up, I'm gonna use a couple products here from number seven. I'm gonna use their Airbrush Away Primer and then also the Airbrush Away Tinted Skin Perfector. So I'm not using uh, a like liquid foundation today. I'm just gonna use that Tinted Skin Perfector and I'm gonna put a little bit of powder over it and so I'm just gonna use the primer with my fingers and rub this into my skin. This is Oh, like especially for my base what I'm doing right now this is a lot what I've been doing days that we go boating days that we are outside a lot and I know I don't want a lot of makeup on my face I don't want anything too heavy uh, and things like that this is kind of the look that I'm I'm going for the products that I'm reaching for so I thought I could just kind of recreate uh, this one and again I'm just gonna use my fingers so you can you can see it's it's a bit darker it definitely does give me a tint and when you first put it on it might be like oh no what are you doing but I just take my time and blend it into my skin All right, and then for my concealer I'm going to use the Maybelline fit me and one of my favorite concealers I'm in the shade light 10 and I'm going to go ahead and just do a little bit on my under eyes here and then I'm also going to use it as an eyelid primer. I also want to say that I wore a glitter eyeshadow yesterday. I was filming my Hits and Misses video and I was reviewing in there a couple items from Pure, including their, um, oh, what is it, their Celebrate Your Selfie, and I was using one of the glitter shadows from in there, and I still have glitter everywhere. It was so hard to get that glitter off. It was crazy. So if you notice that I have a bunch of glitter on my face, like I noticed a patch on my neck this morning. I was like, how did you even get there? Um, that's from yesterday's makeup look. Glitter really uh, sticks around for a while. So, uh, and then I also, one more thing I wanted to say is you're probably gonna hear me sniffling a lot in here. My allergies are, I'm having the worst allergy, allergy day by far. My allergies have been pretty bad for about the past two weeks here, I would say. Uh, and then today is definitely the worst day. I can't stop sneezing. My eyes hurt. So it's a great day to film three makeup looks in one day. Um, but yeah, my nose is running and I get allergy shots twice a year, usually in September and March because I do have seasonal allergies. And uh, unfortunately, they can't get me in until another like 10 days or something. And I tried to schedule my appointment last week. So it's been rough. It's it's. It's been rough, so I apologize if you can tell in my voice and that I'm just sniffling a lot, but allergies are not fun. And then just to kind of set everything and again, even everything out some more, I'm just grabbing out the Maybelline Fit Me. This is the Matte and Poreless Powder. I'm in the shade 310 Sun Beige. And this is just a brush from Jessica Simpson. Uh, again, if I didn't already say it in the intro, the, um, not all of the tools I'm using are going to be affordable because some I simply just like don't have. Just all the actual makeup products that I'm using are going to be the affordable slash drugstore products. So I'm just taking this powder and a large brush here and just sweeping it all over. All right, for my bronzer, I'm just gonna take the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and apply this to my cheekbones. And then I'm also gonna do a little bit on the forehead too, but nothing too wild and crazy. And then I'm actually not going to do a blush with this look either. Um, blush is a lot, of, a lot of those times, like if we are boating or being outside for a while, a lot of times I do just get blush. Um, it tends to be something that fades really quickly on the skin and I don't know it's just something that I feel like if I'm really rushed for time and I know I have to like skip a step or two I can skip blush so I'm just gonna apply the bronzer to the cheekbones to give me a little bit of color and also to the forehead 
and then that's it. And then you can either skip eyeshadow totally if you want to, or one thing that I used to do a lot, especially when I had a smaller collection, is I just take whatever bronzer I'm using and I put that into the crease of my eye. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to continue to hold my butter bronzer here. I'm just going to take a fluffy blending brush and I'm just going to work this into the crease in my eye and just kind of be a little sloppy, just give my eyelid a little bit of color but nothing too crazy, nothing too hard. You don't have to spend a lot of time blending. You don't need to have a bunch of different palettes or single shadows out in front of you. And it'll just give a little something to the eyes and it's still really quick and easy. You can also take it and just take the same brush and kind of sweep that on the lower lash line too if you want a bit of color down there also. So highlight is definitely a step that you can skip in the early morning if you're just not feeling it. You don't want highlight for school or your work totally skip the highlight. Like I said, I'm skipping the blush, so I'm still going to come in with my highlight. I'm using this one from All May. It is the Instant Glow Duo, and this is in the shade Talk Pinky to Me. So on one side, you have a cream, and on the other side, you have a liquid. I think I'm actually just going to take the cream side. I'm just going to put a little bit here on my ring finger, and again, I don't want to do anything too wild. I don't want anything that's going to be like really, really time-consuming, but I also want, since we have such a natural face look going on, I don't want something that's like too much and a lot of times what can be good with cream products is they can look a little bit more natural on the skin. I don't reach for them a ton anymore but I've actually really been impressed with these All My Duos. I think I mentioned them in, it was either, I think it was my top five, bottom five of new drugstore releases and I mentioned these in the top section because I actually do think that they're really pretty. So again, I'm just adding a little bit of glow here to the cheekbones. I don't want to do anything too much too wild. You can take your finger if you want anywhere else and just kind of dot whatever is left over. So I typically highlight the like bridge of my nose here and then the tip of my nose, but that's it. I'm not putting highlight anywhere else. I don't feel like I need it. Again, you can do the liquid side on this one. You can do just the liquid side. It's totally up to you, but I think just a little bit of cream highlight. That's all you need. I'm going to use my Rimmel liner. This is in the nude. It's just a nude uh, eyeliner and I'm going to apply this to my waterline. This is a great trick to making your eyes look more awake. So if you've overslept, you're in a hurry, but you want to like fake looking more awake, try a nude liner into the waterline because it'll just help you look a little bit more awake. We already have a bit of a lower lash color here, so I'm just going to do my mascara. This is from Maybelline. It is the Total Temptation Mascara. This mascara because I truly believe it's like a one coat mascara. This is the only coat that I'm going to do on my eyes and I think it just immediately adds length and volume to the lashes which I greatly appreciate. Now for this look I'm also not going to do my brows. I feel like, I mean when I was back to school and in college I was not doing my brows. Work didn't care about my brows. It's also typically like the most time consuming for me at least to do my brows so if I'm thinking like quick out the door, get up, get ready, leave. I do not have time to do my brows. So um, what you can do, and sometimes what I'll do, like if we are going to be outside for a while, I'll just take a spoolie and I'll just kind of like almost like groom the brows but not actually put any product in them. And you could do something like the, um, what's the one from Benefit, the Gimme Brow to give you a little bit of like color or like shape to the brows. The Glossier Boy Brow, I know I see a lot of people use. I mean, you could like lightly run a pencil through them, whatever it is you want to do. But especially for me, like I have brows, you know, they're fairly full, they're fairly defined, they have a shape somewhat, this one more than the other one. Um, so I just don't feel like I, I really need to do anything and it doesn't embarrass me. Like I can go out without brows on and I'm totally okay. Um, but that's just a, a little something I'll do if I still want them to like look I don't know, better, I guess. I'll just take a regular old spoolie, spoolie through my brows, and that's it. And then to finish it off with my lip product, I'm going to use this gloss from Sleek Makeup. This is the Lip Shot Gloss Impact, and this is in the shade Brutal Honesty. I haven't tried these before, but I thought just a gloss would go well with this. But it looks like these might be a little pigmented. Let's give it a shot. So this one definitely has a color to it. Again, this is in Brutal Honesty. You can find it at Sleek Makeup at Ulta as well. So a little bit of shine color, a little bit of a pink gloss to the lips here. But other than that, that is going to do it for look one. This is probably the quickest and simplest makeup look that we're doing for this video. Uh, and everything that I used makeup product wise was affordable. So here is look number one. 
Alrighty, so moving over to look number two, I'm going to start with primer again. This is from NYX. It is the Honey Do Me Up primer. It just kind of has this little paddle applicator here. I'm just going to go ahead and paddle some onto the skin. And then once again, I'm just going to use my fingers to blend this in. Alrighty, so like I said, we're going to amp it up a little bit for look number two. So for foundation, I'm going to use this here from Neutrogena. It's the Skin Clearing Foundation. Uh, I was able to do a campaign actually with Neutrogena over on my Instagram this past month. This video is not sponsored. Neutrogena didn't ask me to include anything in a YouTube video, but I actually really like this. And I have two more products that I got to try out um, before I, you know, was with the campaign and that I just... I just love. So I definitely want to include them in here because these are more affordable. You can find these at drugstores and Ulta as well. The only thing that I don't love about the foundation is that you just pour it out, which I don't love. Uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and put some here onto my sponge. I'm using the um, makeup sponge from Morphe and you can also get this at Ulta and it's a little bit more affordable as well. I instantly like this foundation from the moment that I tried it. I liked it because it's really, really lightweight on the skin. Like it doesn't feel like a cakey foundation at all, but I still really liked the coverage of it. It did a really good job of, you know, evening out my skin tone, but co covering any like blemishes or red marks at the same time. Uh, but it just, it gave me nice coverage with a natural finish. It kind of reminded me a bit just like how it looked on my skin and how it felt of the CoverGirl Healthy Vitalist foundation. And that's one of my favorite foundations like in general, but also from the drugstore. Concealer, I'm going to use the one from NYX Cosmetics. This is the HD Concealer and I'm in the shade Beige. Once again, I'm going to apply a little bit to the under eyes. And I'm also going to apply some to my eyelid for my eyelid primer. If you can see... Like especially what we did in the first look too. If you can use products for multiple steps, then that's pretty darn good. I just put some on the red marks on my chin as well. And then I'm just going to take the same sponge and go ahead and blend this out. Powder I'm going to be using is also from the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Line. It is just their mineral powder. Again, really been liking this powder. It reminds me of the CoverGirl Healthy Vitalist. Oh yeah, again, the CoverGirl Healthy Vitalist powder that I like so much and I've been raving about forever. I'm going to use that and powder my face and then kind of hit the under eyes as well. I'm not doing any baking or anything like that because I don't have time for that like in general, much less in the morning if I'm in a hurry. <laughs> My bronzer, I'm going to take this one from number 7. It's in Caramel. This has been one of my favorite bronzers for such a long time. I'm going to grab a Moda brush and then I'm just going to go ahead and again just bronze the cheekbones here and then also a little bit on my forehead to give me some color. For blush, I'm taking the Milani Luminoso blush, one of my favorite blushes, and I'm just going to go ahead and pop this on the cheeks. It's a nice peachy blush. I mean, I'm sure some of you guys are familiar with Luminoso, but it's a nice peachy blush and it has a little bit of shimmer to it as well. I don't wear it as much in the winter time. To me, it's more of like my spring summer blush, so hanging on to it. The day that I'm filming this, the kids are going back to school. When I was walking Aries this morning, you know, all the parents were at the bus stop too, and I saw a lot of phones out taking pictures and stuff. I was like, oh, how cute. So we are officially back to school in my area. And before I go to the eyes, I'm just going to do my highlight. This here is from Essence. This is the Pure Nude Highlighter. I like this one because, again, it's a pretty subtle highlight. You can build it up if you want to. I'm just using a Delium Tools brush here. Uh, you can build it up if you want to to have it be a little bit more pow-pow. Um, but again, I like to go more subtle on the highlight for a back-to-school look or, you know, a work look, things like that. I try not to be quite as baboom with my highlight but again that's personal preference and if that's how you want to go to school or what work then you go for it so once again i'm just adding it to my cheekbones and then again just a little down the bridge of my nose tip of my nose that's all i do for highlight you know the drill and then let's move over to the eyes for my eye look i'm going to be using this palette here from wet n wild this is the rose in the air palette again i'm going to try to do something just Pretty simple and pretty quick, but that will get us by through the day. So I'm first going to take this more white shade here. I'm going to use a brush from Moda, and I'm just going to go ahead and run that all over the eyes. I'm going to bring it up to the brow bone, and then I'm also going to kind of just like already inner corner highlight, if you will. Grabbing a Delium Tools blending brush, I'm going to take this shade on the bottom here, and I'm just going to run that into the crease. I'm going to keep that same brush and I'm going to come into kind of this like rosy berry color 
And then I'm also going to blend that on the outer part of the eye and then into the crease. Again, just, I'm not being like super precise with this look. I'm just trying to get out the door, but you know, have a little fun with my eyeshadow today. Then I'm gonna grab this light purple shade. It's kind of like a cool toned purple and a flat shader brush. And I'm just gonna come through and put that on the inner and middle part of my eye just to add a little bit of color, but nothing nothing too wild. I'm not using shimmers, I'm not spraying my brush, I'm not worrying about getting fallout on my face, nothing like that. I'm just gonna add a matte to the lid, and for me, that is what's pretty quick and easy. Okay, so my camera did need to cool down, so while I was waiting, I did go ahead and fill in my brows. I used the Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Pencil. I love this brow pencil, it's nice and affordable as well. It reminds me a bit of the Benefit Goof Proof. It's kind of got more of like a thicker shape to it, but I still feel like you can fill in your brows really quickly and really easily. And I am in the shade Blonde in this one here. So I did fill in my brows for this look, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add some liner to my waterline. This is from Flower Beauty. It's the Vinyl Eyes Glossy Gel Eyeliner, and it is in the shade Bronzed Out. And then for my lower lash line, just coming back into this palette, I'm just going to grab a little bit of the transition shade here and then the berry color here on a pencil brush, and I'm just going to mix those together and run those on the lower lash line. For mascara, I'm going to be using this one here from Neutrogena. It's the Hydro Boost Plumping Mascara, and it is a waterproof mascara. I don't know how I just found this mascara. I don't know how no one told me about this mascara, but this is bomb. It makes the lashes so long. It helps give them a little volume. It helps give them curl. It is waterproof. I wore it the day that we floated the river and it was super hot out and I was on the water. My mascara did not move. This is such, such a nice mascara. I'm telling you guys, I've been so impressed with it. That is one coat with the Neutrogena Mascara One Coat's All I Need. This is one that I definitely wish that I would have found out about sooner. So that's it for the eyes. I mean, it's a way to incorporate just a little bit of color, but still be fairly neutral, not go over the top, and it's super quick and super simple to achieve. Uh, so then we just have to finish off with our lip color, and the lip color that I chose is one of these from Maybelline. These are some of my favorite lipsticks. This is in the shade Truffle Tease, which is one of my favorite nudes. So here we have look number two, doing the brows, we got a lipstick on, we used an eyeshadow palette, but still it was really fast, it was really easy to do, and once again, it's all affordable. Alrighty, so we are moving on to look number three, and with this look, I'm also going to incorporate a little bit of color into my eyes to show you guys how I can still do a neutral look with a bit of color. I get asked this a lot, especially for like going to work style makeup looks that people want to see. You know, they say they don't want to do anything too over the top, but they still want a little bit of color. How would I recommend to do it? So I will show you what I do in this one. Uh, but once again, I'm going to start with the face. I'm going to use this primer here from Flower Beauty. This is the hydrating primer. And once again, I'm just going to go ahead and work this into the skin. I really do like these primers from Flower Beauty. And the hydrating one is really nice if you are more on the dry side like I am. For foundation, I'm going to take one of my favorites. This is from L'Oreal. It is the True Match Lumi Foundation. I'm in the shade N4. Again, I'm just going to use my Morphe sponge and go ahead and apply this to the skin. This foundation, I would say, gives a little bit more coverage than the Neutrogena one that I just used, but it's still really nice and lightweight. It doesn't feel too heavy on the skin, and I really like the natural yet luminous finish that it gives because, like I said, I do have dry skin, so I like when my foundations can uh, make me look a little less dry. For the concealer, I'm going to take this one here from Ulta Beauty. It's the Full Coverage Liquid Concealer. This is such a nice concealer. This could be nice. Uh, maybe if we are a little bit older and going to work and you need a little bit more coverage than some of you young ones that can just wake up looking fresh-eyed, ready to go. Uh, so I do like the coverage that it gives, but it's not too much. And again, it doesn't feel too heavy on my under eyes, which is nice. With this one, I do like to apply one eye and then go ahead and blend it out. I'm just using that to prime the eyes as well. Again, it just kind of takes away the step of having like a separate eyelid primer too. Just using the concealer. Like I said, I do one eye and then I do the other eye because it does dry a little bit quicker. So I prefer to do it this way with the Ulta concealer. But it's super affordable and I think it's really nice. 
So I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette. This is in Dolce de Leche. I do want to set the concealer. I'm not going to set my foundation with this one. I'm just going to use the Morphe E49. And I'm going to go ahead and set the concealer on my under eyes. I feel like my allergies have been getting worse as I've been filming. I've been filming kind of like off and on for, I don't know, three, three, almost four hours at this point. And my allergies, I thought that they would get better. I haven't been outside. Since this morning, uh, I've taken an allergy pill, but they are getting worse. I feel like I can barely breathe through my nose. So, whew, I don't even know if my eyes are open at this point. And then I'm gonna take the other side of this contouring palette. I'm gonna grab another Moda brush here, and I'm going to use this to kind of contour and bronze in one. Again, we're trying to be quick and on the go here, and I find that I can just kind of do like a two-in-one with this particular shade. So I'm going to start out and kind of like hug it to the cheekbones here, but then also kind of blend it as well to have it be a bronzer. And again, I am going to have this to my forehead as well. For a blush, I'm going to use this one from a Flower Beauty. It's one of the Flower Pots and Peach Primrose, and it's just a really nice peachy matte blush. So I'm going to go ahead and use a Morphe. This is the E4 and apply to my cheeks. And then again, before I move to the eyes, I'm gonna do my highlight. I'm gonna grab this Sleek Highlighting Palette. This is in Solstice. It's a really beautiful highlight palette, and I am going to come into this shade right here and use my Sigma F03. I'm gonna go pretty lightly because this one does pack quite a punch, so if you are someone who does want a pretty beaming highlight, you can come into this one here from Sleek. They also just released the Copper Plate palette, which I tried in last week's Trying Out New Makeup video. Those have a little bit of like deeper highlight shades in there, where the Solstice one is a little bit on the lighter side here, and two of the uh, highlights in here are also cream, if that is more interesting to you. But I'm just going to go ahead and use that one. It's, it's, it's a really nice highlighting palette and it's more affordable. I'm going to go ahead and apply the highlight here. So for my eyes, like I said, we're going to amp it up a little bit here for the third look. I'm going to be using the ColourPop and Kathleen Lights Dream Street Palette. This is one of my favorite palettes. Uh, it's a pretty neutral palette, but it does have a few pops of color in here as well, like I was saying. But I'm going to do something really simple for the eyes. I'm first going to take this brown shade here, and I'm going to use that as my transition. I'm going to use a Moda blending brush, and I'm just going to work that into my poor little crease that has had three eye looks today my eyes are like what are you doing and why on the day when your allergies are bad <laughs> and i'm just kind of being a little messy and sloppy with this shade and really kind of applying it all over the lid too because even though like i said we're going to like amp it up a little bit with the shadows it's still going to be simple and quick um so i'm just going to come in right now with the shimmer there's a lot of really nice more like neutral shimmers in here that you can use but one of my favorites is this more kind of like rose gold one this last one here on the first row so i'm just going to use a shader brush this is the sigma e56 i recommend spraying the brush i do get a little bit of fallout especially with these more shimmery shadows so i recommend spraying your brush with this palette i do think that you don't need it but that's how i prefer to do it and it does help with fallout as well so i'm just going to take that and place it all over the lid here to give a little shimmer to the eye look really don't think that to create a fun pretty eye look that you need 14 different colors and to spend two hours on it and it's funny because a lot of times I get a little bit like I don't do makeup tutorials over here because I'm still learning like I I don't really know how to teach how to do makeup I can just show how I do it but sometimes I get embarrassed because I'm like I only used three eyeshadows, but I still like the look. But then I watch, you know, especially the big YouTubers that have been doing the tutorials for so long, and they're always using all these different shades and all these amazing techniques. And I feel like I'm always doing the same thing that I'm like, is this is this beneficial to anybody? Or did you get anything out of that? Or were you really like, you used three shades? Like, that was so boring. And I'm like, I don't know. That's I, I still feel like I like a lot of my makeup looks. And when people ask for tutorials, I'm like, oh my gosh, it, it took me five minutes to do that. <laughs> So again, the lower lash line is where we're going to add some color. So first I like to use an eyeliner. This one here is from Sleek Makeup. It's the 12 hour wear metallic eyeliner. This is in Misinformation. So this just looks to be like a nice blue. So I'm going to go ahead and add this to my waterline. I'm coming back into the Dream Street palette and I'm grabbing the matte kind of like 
blue green shade in here and I'm just using the other end of that Moda brush which is more of a like flat side here and I'm just going to grab some of that shadow and I'm going to press it close to my lashes and kind of smudge it out here. So it'll give us some color on the lower lash line but I still feel like paired with a really neutral eyelid look. Like it's not too much. It's just a little, it's just a little way to add color in here. And it's something that I love doing. And of course you can do any color that you want on your lower lash line. For whatever reason, I typically go for more of a blue. You've seen a look like this in several of my past videos. Uh, and it's just one of my go-tos. Neutral eye, blue pop of color on the lower lash line. For mascara, I'm going to use the one from Flower Beauty. This is the Warrior Mascara. Flower Beauty makes great mascaras and they are more affordable at Ulta. I did one brow off camera and I thought I would do another brow on camera just to kind of do like a quick brow tutorial here. So I'm using this pencil here from CoverGirl. It is one of their, I think it's called, here it is, the Ultra Fine Brow Pencil and I'm using the shade Honey Brown. I really love this. I think it's a great dupe to the Benefit precisely, precisely my brow. It's just less expensive. So I just kind of spoolie through my brows here and then I just kind of start to lightly define the line under my brows here. And I go all the way out and create a tail and then I just take the brow pencil and do like short strokes to fill it in. And then once I get to the front of the brow, I just kind of very lightly will flick upwards to try to create these hair-like strokes at the front of the brow. And every once in a while, I'll just turn it over and I'll spoolie through to try to make it look a little bit more natural, if you will. And then that's how I'm going to leave my brows. I don't always use like a brow gel or anything like that. So on days that if I would be in a rush, I would skip it. I know some people absolutely have to do that. But uh, for me personally, I do not. Uh, and then for my lip color, I'm just going to finish it off with one of the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams in London. This is one of my favorite nudes. I like this option because it's more like long lasting than a regular lipstick, but it's not too, like it's not too it's not too much like a liquid lipstick. It's not super drying, so it's not going to be uncomfortable. And it's also just a really nice nude, and it's not one that's like kind of challenging to apply. You know, some liquid lips, you really have to like be precise and make sure you're getting it because then if it dries and it doesn't look good, you're pretty much screwed. You don't really have that with the NYX Soft Matte Low Creams. They're very user friendly. And for my final step for this look, I am gonna go ahead and spray my face. I know I haven't been doing them in every single one, but honestly, I didn't use setting sprays for a very long time, and I think I got away with it okay. It is a step that I like to do now, so I thought I would share it in one of them. I'm using the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Uh, it is available at Ulta, and it really is one of my favorites. I feel like it helps lock makeup in really well too, so for a full day at school or at work, this could be a good option for you. Hey guys, so this is my final look, look number three for my back to school quick and easy makeup looks using all affordable products. You'll have to let me know what you think of this look as well. Again, I wanted to just kind of boost it up a little bit. I wanted to show how to incorporate a little bit of color but still having like a neutral, maybe more wearable depending on our preferences, uh, style makeup look for the eyes as well. But I hope you enjoyed seeing all three looks and then after that, that's gonna do it for today's video. Okay, so, so that is gonna do it for today's video, sharing three back to school makeup looks, quick and easy and affordable makeup looks. I'll have all the products that I used listed down below. Let me know if you have a favorite look or one that you would say like, that's my back to school style, that's my work style, I would love to know. I hope that you guys did enjoy this one. It's been really requested to do, so hopefully you enjoyed seeing the three looks. If you guys did, I would love if you gave this video a thumbs up. I hope that you'll also consider subscribing before you go. I do post every single day except for Saturdays, and I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.